name is Leanne Young from the University of Kentucky, and I'm delighted to be working together with you to support the success of all learners. As we prepare for our work together, I'd like to frame a bit of our challenge regarding students with disabilities and pose a few questions for you to spend time thinking about. We've fallen into a serious trap with regard to our intervention time for students who are struggling. We have come to the point where most of our learning support or resource time is spent helping kids to tread water. What do I mean by that? Well, it seems that there is such pressure to help students perform well or well enough on assignments that all of the time we should be using to deliver evidence-based intervention that matches the student's struggles is spent instead in helping them complete assignments. In the end, the product is better and helps the student earn a better grade, but the student did not learn any skills to improve performance in the future. In fact, we have, may have even modified so extensively that the product doesn't even reflect the student's work. This raises big questions about the validity of our measure of that assignment and it disrupts the student's ability to learn the critical skill that is causing the academic struggles to begin with. Is this what you are seeing in your schools too? In order to truly serve students and improve their skills, not just task performance, we have to back away from the close-up view of assignments and ask questions about critical skills. What critical skill is the student missing? And what is a critical skill? This is something I'd like for you to think about ahead of our session. The Common Core has done a nice job of helping us to identify critical skills in certain areas, but not all. As we prioritize and think about how we can best help our struggling learners, we need to ask, what is it about my course or for elementary teachers about this year that this student cannot survive without knowing? We can all think back to plenty of facts and tasks we learned in high school that we no longer remember, but we're all successful adults. What was it in those courses that prepared us? And which pieces were important at the time, but do not stand the test of importance over years or decades? Those most important pieces for functioning across the curriculum and across time are the critical skills and the ones we need to identify and target like mad with our struggling learners. The other day I came home from work to find my teenage son on the computer searching for tennis shoes. He said, Mom, I really like this particular brand of tennis shoes, but I don't agree with their labor practices of outsourcing and not paying a fair wage or supporting decent working conditions. I'd like to find some that are the same style but are free trade. You see, he may or may not remember some of the facts he learned for recall and social studies tasks, but between what he learned at home and what he learned about global trade in his social studies classes, he's a better citizen of our world. He's globally minded. There's some critical skills in there. On the other hand, we also need to think about the tasks we are requiring, our assignments. Sure, they all have a purpose and are connected to learning targets and standards, but are there tasks that could be sacrificed in the name of prioritizing the most important critical skills? How can we recover some of the time a struggling student invests in the course so the student can strengthen her reading skills with direct instruction in a learning support class, for example? These are all tough questions for teachers who carefully design tasks and assignments and could argue that all are important. They are, of course, all important. But in our work, it will be imperative that we prioritize skills. In our time together, we will take these critical skills, modify the expectations for struggling and exceptional learners, and choose evidence-based interventions for addressing them. We will learn ways to measure progress in simple, embedded ways to ensure that our interventions truly are working to close the gaps. I look forward to seeing you soon and learning more about what you see are the critical skills at your grade level and in your courses.